Let's review the tooth surfaces on the chart to understand charting. The midline is the line drawn between the intersection of teeth 8 and 9 and teeth 24 and 25. This usually represents the middle of the body. The facial surfaces are the surfaces of the teeth nearest the cheeks or lips on the anterior teeth, or teeth number 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. The buccal surfaces are the tooth surfaces closest to the cheeks on the posterior teeth. The lingual surfaces are the surfaces of both anterior and posterior teeth that touch the tongue. The incisal is the biting edge on anterior teeth. The occlusal is the biting surface on the posterior teeth. Remember that the proximal surfaces are the surfaces of the teeth that touch the adjacent or next teeth. The mesial is the proximal surface closest to the midline or the middle of the body. The distal is the proximal surface furthest distance from the middle of the body or the midline. Let's take a moment to review the process of charting restorations in teeth. The names of the surfaces of teeth are used to describe restorations in teeth. Each tooth surface included in the restoration is used to describe and chart the restoration. Anterior teeth have two incisal angles, the mesioincisal or MI angle, and the distoincisal or DI angle. The incisal angle description is used when a large amount of damage or large restoration is present on an anterior tooth. Incisal angle restorations involve the entire angle of the tooth, which is actually four surfaces of the tooth, not two surfaces. Many people confuse an incisal angle restoration as being a two surface restoration because we use only two surfaces to designate and describe the angle. The four surfaces involved include the mesial or distal surface in combination with the facial surface, the lingual surface, and the incisal edge. If this is tooth number two, the six points that we would measure are the distal, buccal, and mesial on the buccal side of the tooth, and the mesial, lingual, and distal on the lingual side. The doctor calls out the three buccal or labial measurements for each tooth and then pauses for the assistant to write down the measurements. The doctor would then go to the next tooth and call the three buccal or labial numbers. We do not proceed to the lingual of tooth number two.